Hello, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Poke One. I am Dragotums, and we are two badges deep. That is correct. We have the Pewter Badge and the Cascade Badge here in the Kanto region. We are moving along swimmingly, if you don't mind the pun. And uh, now we are going to continue our journey. I think we were told to go north to visit some sort of uh, water cottage or something. And there is Gary. Now we're a little nervous because uh, we're probably going to have to fight Gary and he's going to have a Charmeleon or something and I don't think we have the Mons to take him down. We have Ivysaur is our best guy but he's weak to his fire. And we have Pikachu. So this is going to be a tough fight uh, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, I guess Magikarp's not going to really do much. Maybe he'll just be in there to, to potion or something. But let's go ahead and see what's going on. This may be our first defeat. I have a feeling. But there's no way around it. We have to fight Gary. I guess Mount Moon took you some time. I heard about those guys, Jesse and James. Did they hurt your Pokemon much? One day they'll come my way and I'll show them. Anyway, let's see whether or not you have trained your buddies. Hopefully they aren't too big. Oh my god. And he has a Pidgeotto. Alright. Okay. And I need to be starting Pikachu right now. I'm not. This is a nightmare. Hopefully it's nothing too hard. So it's a quick attack. 10 damage, okay, could be worse. At least he has a static. Shock, let's go with Electro Ball. 42, yes. Ooh, almost. He, oh, he did a little sand attack, that's fine. Hopefully we can land with the Thunder Shock. Attack missed. And he did a Whirlwind. What did he bring out? <laughs> he brought out Carp. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to use this to use potions then. Let's go ahead and use a potion on Pikachu. And we can't do anything. We, there's Splash. Are there any other items we can use to help out? It doesn't look like it. So let's just go ahead and Splash. I don't want to lose the turn by swapping in something else. So now this th uh, this way Pikachu should be able to come do damage. We're going to actually do a quick attack. That seems to be our best chance of landing. And hopefully uh, our attack lands. Critical hit. Perfect. Okay, so there's a Pidgeotto down. We're in decent shape. Ooh, and there's a Abra. This guy could be a problem. Ooh, actually, they're pretty fast, I believe. So let's go with Thundershock. 12 damage, not bad. He used Teleport. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if he's just going to keep using Teleport, hopefully that's all he knows. Please, let's say yes. Okay, okay, cool. We can take this. Um, let's go ahead and swap into something else while we're doing that then. Uh, we'll use Pidgey. Using Pidgey, so we're using this opportunity to kind of rotate. The teleport's not going to do anything, and if need be, we can do a little bit of damage with Quick Attack or try to do a Sand Attack on his uh, Charmeleon that comes out. So that's what we're trying to set up here and kind of get all prepared for the really tough Charmeleon that we know is waiting in the wings. Hopefully he brings out like a, a Grass Pokemon first. And that, may, that way Pidgey can do stuff. Okay, there's a Rattata. So it's Rattata, and then he's going to have the Charmeleon. I think we're going to have to deal with this Rattata. Let's go ahead and just do a quick attack. I'd like to swap in our Mankey, but I think he's going to be so slow that he's going to lose with die before he gets an attack off. And okay, hopefully we can withstand one more attack. Come on, please don't kill us. Oh, quick attack got through. Yes, yes, okay. So he's down just to a Charmeleon. Oh, it's, it's cool, and it's still a Charmander. It's only 18. Okay, so we, I think we have a chance here. Uh, I think we're just going to try to do as much damage as possible, so let's go with the quick attack. I want to try to do the sand and then, like, just, you know, sand attack and make it so he misses. But let's just keep doing damage. And so he does know Ember, so that's good to know. He does know Ember. Uh, let's go with, I mean, Mankey. Mankey might be able to get at least one hit. Charmander's not going to be doing any, like, you know, crazy damage on him. So now do we get really froggy and go for the Mega Kick? Or do we just go, let's just go for the Karate Chop. Let's play it safe. We have a plant guy waiting. Ooh, okay, nice. That was a good hit by the Mankey. Come on, Mankey, do something good for us. 
Tell us how you really feel. Tell us how you really feel. We didn't even need our boy. Well done. All right, I got it. Not bad. Next time, I won't give you a chance. Okay, so I guess he wasn't as tough as we thought he was going to be. And we're able to get through there. Now, if this is anything like the old games... Oh, and you see all these people over there. there that must be where all the Abras are. Uh, and this is a bug catcher. Okay, let's go heal up. Because for bug catcher, we're going to want our flying bird type Pokemon. And I guess we're going to go get an Abra. I would not mind having an Abra. I mean, I don't know if, if they'll let us get an Alakazam in this game, or if they'll, they'll force you to trade it. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. Uh, but yeah. Either way, we can get Abra. Definitely good to have one. Right, so, we, so we did that. So He was a little scared there, I think, because I just don't want to get our first defeat. But our guys did a good job. We handled it. Mankey did pretty well. I was surprised that he had a level 18 and he wasn't evolved. So I'm not sure if that means that he's just he chose not to evolve the Charmander. Is that what that is? Pretty bizarre. We'll take it though. We definitely will take it. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Now we're back in good shape. It's nice having that Mankey there. He's just a good, a nice pivot. Let's go ahead and put our Pidgey up, and our Pidgey's actually looking pretty strong too. I think, yeah, level 16. Got to be close to Pidgeotto. He had a Pidgeotto. Maybe level 17? So yeah, so we still need a bike. First and foremost, we definitely need a bike, but I do not know where we can get the bike. So I'm assuming we're going to go and do the rest of the stuff we have to do in this town. We're going to go visit Bill, and then maybe he can give us... Uh, the bike voucher, or that might actually be after we do the whole SSN, because I do remember like a long time ago playing this. The SSN and the bike stuff seems to kind of coincide, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and deal with this bug catcher, Kale. And then last, this is the Nugget Bridge. Beat all of us and win a fabulous prize. It won't be an actual nugget because there hasn't been selling stuff yet. Okay, so it is bug. We can gust that. No problem. Please get to Pidgeotto soon. I feel like that'd be nice and fun. Just a nice chunky fat Pidgeotto. A little game bird. And the Metapause, the last one. Just keep throwing that gust at him. Oh, think about our Metapod that's stuck in our storage. I just don't have... I'm, I, I can't do Metapod and a Magikarp. Gotta choose one of those, and I think we can get a, a stronger Psychic than Butterfree. Four more to go. So that was easy. Next on is Lass Alley. Don't I look pretty on this bridge? Oh, okay. Pidgey on Pidgey. Let's go over to Pikachu. I was thinking we could do Mankey, because I think Pidgey is a normal type, but it's also a flying type. It's like a normal flying, so the flying uh, is not something we want our Mankey to go up against. So we'll just stick with our Pikachu, let this one level up nice and good. Okay, and... Now we need to go back to our Pidgey. <laughs> bouncing back and forth. Bouncing back and forth. Oh, you're going to use growth, huh? That's fine. We're going to chop you. We're, we're going to prune your growth. And that should be enough to take him down. There you go. Feeling pretty good. And the bell sprout. And just give him a nice little wind. Send his spores all about so he can fertilize and pollinate. I think that's what they would want to do. I think Bill Sprout would be pretty happy about that. Okay, hey, Pitchy is trying to learn Whirlwind. Should it learn? Okay, Whirlwind. Target is blown away to, and a different book is dragged out. In the wild, this ends a battle. Ooh, that's actually kind of good. But I think all these are better. 
Sand attack is more likely... We haven't used it yet. But I think we're more likely to use it than uh, Whirlwind. So do not learn that move. Okay, three more to go. So Pidgey's getting up there in size too now as well. Um, let's go with the Magikarp. Let him get some experience in it, at least off, off of the first bout. Oh, and there's a Sand Shrew. Nice. So we can swing that over to Ivysaur. The problem is, if we get uh, Abra, Abra's going to have the same situation as the Carp where he doesn't really do an attack. Oh my god. Magnitude 7. So that's going to be somewhat annoying if we're trying to like power up an Abra and power up a Carp. I think that's kind of hurting the overall levels of the rest of our team. It's, you know, it's kind of like it'll pay off in the long run, but it is kind of like the give and take that we have to deal with. So I guess, yeah, we'll just stick with this. We'll just do... I don't want to deal with... Like, Ekans and stuff is... These poison guys and ones that can do bind and wraps. Those things are just a l very annoying to deal with. So we're just going to stick with the Ivysaur. Now we're paralyzed. Move the bite, but we got the tackle in. We just need one more hit. One more hit and we'll be good. Oh my god, look at this. Like, look, a level 14 and he's taking down our Ivysaur. These guys are just very underrated. If you don't take them seriously, it could be a big problem. Cool, okay, two more to go. Yeah, nice, we leveled up. Oh, actually, we got some loot boxes. Let's actually go ahead and open those up in case there's some. <laughs> Some balls or potions or things we can use. Oh, clothes, okay. And a TM3 and gold. What else you got? Forest. Protein full restore could be good. Okay. We're gonna use some potions though. How many potions we got? Medicine. 12 potions. Okay, yeah, we got a lot. Let's go and heal him up. Let's heal him up again. We gotta get that paralysis off of him. And we'll hit heal Pidgey as well. Last rally. I like hanging around on the bridge. And you make a left over the bridge. Oh man, I forgot that I had in the carp. Okay, uh Let's go with No, I don't wanna waste. Stuff on, well, no, not waste. Letting actually been pretty solid, so I guess that's never a waste. I st I, <laughs> I don't know why I still don't respect Letting in. He always saves us. I said I would never again <laughs> underestimate you. Let's just keep going with that. Let's just keep going with it. Let's keep. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's just keep going with it. The guile. Them with the guile jump kick. Okay, Ledian, you're good. You're back in my good books. Oh, whoa, level 16. Okay. Should we try to confuse it? Not. Nah, let's just keep softening it up. Let's not reinvent the wheel. Definitely not reinvent the wheel. Okay, Swift. Hit him with the T Swift. Okay, and he's got a little bit left. We can uh, share some some of this XP though, because it would be good to get the XP going. So who do we want to get? Pikachu is always a positive thing. Let's power up our Pika. Man. And quick attack. Boom! We are going to take some massive poison damage, though. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Ledian just wants to learn another move. Uh-oh. Mock Punch. Let's see what's going on with Mock Punch. Oh, it's okay. It's a fighting move. User throws a punch at blinding speed. This move always goes first. Oh, wow. A fighting move and it goes first? 
I think I love Ledian. So, Supersonic is good, but it's 55% chance. We're not going to use the Reflect. Yo, Ledian. Like, what's your deal? You're amazing. I feel like Ledian's going to be like Meg or something. It's just like, no, like it's no matter what, I'm never going to respect. Okay, do we want to do this fight? Let's do the fight, even though we have all these uh, status effects on us. I don't feel like running all the way back. I'm number five. I'll stomp you. That's a good point, though. What if this guy's tough? Paris. Now these guys level 12. He doesn't look that good. Okay. Uh, what? Oh yeah, we want to go with Pidgey. So Ledian gives us a fighting move, though, which is one of the reasons we had ah oh, paralysis. One of the reasons why we have Mankey in there. So that can give us some extra coverage, and we might not need one of the two. Oh, that was all you had? Oh, okay. And then I think, I feel like this is a fight too. Okay, let's... No, I guess we want to keep leveling up this... Uh, let's see how tough this Corbin guy is going to be. This is risky having these guys with, para with uh, paralysis. C congratulations, you beat the five bridge trainers. You, you just earned a fabulous prize. A nugget. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. Hey, I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need some convincing, don't you? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. So, where can we use a nugget? Because we can't really sell anything. Like, at the stores, we haven't been able to sell stuff, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, let's go to Ledian. He's glare paralysis. So much paralysis. See if mock punch landed and it's not effective. Okay. Okay, let's go with Swift then. Use bite. Whoa, bite actually. And it flinched us. Let's go with Swift. Gosh, Ekans. It's these ra weird random Pokemon that always cause me so much trouble. I think we're gonna go down soon. At least the glare, yeah, at least we're already par like, paralyzed. We can survive and let him get some XP. No, I don't want to... Come on, Swift. Hit Swift. Glare. That's fine. We're already paralyzed. Swift! Oh, it got through! It got through! Ledeon! You beautiful bastard! Okay, yeah, we can handle Zubat fine. Um, You're paralyzed. Oh, yeah, but that's not damage, huh? Um, all we need to do is get one shot off with the Pikachu. Let's go with Supersonic. Yeah, I didn't really expect uh, for us to get our attack off there. And, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, Pikachu's poisoned, but he's not paralyzed. So that's perfect. Because we just want to make the sure the hit, the hit goes off. Let's go with Electro Ball. Okay. Good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, Arg, you're good. Okay. So what do we do with the nugget, though? Can I sell the nugget? Uh, general, where's the nugget? Does it say anything about it? No. A nugget of the purest gold that gives off a lustrous gleam. It can be sold at a high price at shops. But I feel like the shops haven't given us the buy option, has it? Alright. Um, I don't know if this is the safest thing. Well, we have Pikachu. He has poison. Okay, we can take off the poison. Let's go and take off the poison. Uh, okay. Let's do it that way. Okay, cool. I was like, I guess dragging it down didn't work. Let's see if there's an Abra over here. Ooh, no, more Bell Sprouts. There's something good over here, I can tell. Otherwise, all these people wouldn't be in this grass. They wouldn't be over here in the grassy knoll. Oh, yep, and there it goes. There is a ball for this, so... 
I think fastball. I think that's the one. Because what? He run, runs away immediately, right? He does a teleport. Come on. Sit. Hey! Caught him. Alright, that was easy enough. Oh, well, alright. Good. Oh! Who's this? We didn't... Wait, you found me! Okay, this is not good. Ooh, a manky. Let's go with Electro Ball. Karate Chop. Okay, Electro Ball. All he has is, is a manky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do we still have the Pidgey? It's paralyzed. We have our own manky. All Mink has to do is survive one hit. He shouldn't one-shot us. Let's use Pursuit. Where he swipes. Okay, cool. That's not going to kill us, though. Oh, whoa! Crit! <laughs> hit him with a not-very-effective move and still killed him. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. Is there, are, there, are there any other people here? Um... I guess, let's see, how fast is Pidgey? 26 speed. How fast is Magikarp? 27. Magikarp is faster than Pidgey. How? How, Sway? And how'd he get way up there? Alright, nope. Alright, well, we got our one Abra. I think that's good enough. We got our one Abra, and we got back. I actually do want to go check out our Abra. It's just it's going to be a pain trying to do Magikarp and Abra. But that's just not really plausible right now. I mean, I could do a little, some grinding off screen. Save you guys the torture of having me try to level up Magikarp and Abra. We'll figure it out. But I'm kind of enjoying the game too much to like want to just sit here and grind. I kind of want to just keep moving forward and progressing through the game. And I definitely want to get a bike, so maybe we'll just hold on to the Abra and deal with them later. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of options. I guess that's the great thing about this game. Great thing about the MMO. We can do whatever we want at whatever time and speed that we want. And like always, I appreciate you guys being here with me for the ride. Thank you. Take care of them. Okay. Let's see what's going on with our Abra. There's Abra, level 9. Okay, let's see. How's the IV? Special attack. Special attack is a good amount. It looks good. I think that's solid. Like, once again, I'm not super great with IVs, but it looks pretty good to me. Question is, do we want to swap them in? I don't know. Our Ledian's pretty amazing. All right, cool. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. We dealt with that little punk Gary. Caught ourselves at Abra. Uh, next episode, we are going to continue north, past that bridge, and go on to that sea cottage. I believe the sea cottage is up there. And uh, we'll see what's going on there. Until next time, as always, I've been Drake Adams, and you guys have been great. Take care.